at all. This is the DABC Warehouse. At any given time, it holds around $40 million worth of beer, wine, and spirits for the restaurants, bars, and state liquor stores of Utah. Welcome to the DABC Distribution Center. Everything we do here is designed to operate in the most efficient manner possible. But it all begins right over here when the trucks arrive at the dock. We receive 12 to 15 trailers per day. The product arrives on wood pallets and we transfer it to blue plastic pallets and we're going to show you why. This piece of equipment is an automated palletizer. It's going to clamp the product and lift it up and then it's going to remove the wood pallet and replace it with one of those blue plastic pallets. Once the product has been placed on a blue pallet, it's going to be set onto the conveyor and go into an automated shrink wrap machine. We want that pallet to be shrink wrapped nice and tight because it's got a pretty long journey. The next step is to add a label so the computer can track it through the system. After the pallet is labeled, it's going to go through the sizing station, which is going to detect whether or not that pallet will fit into the bin. And then it begins its journey down our 650 feet of conveyors. At the end of the conveyor system is our automated storage and retrieval system. This building holds 10,000 pallets and is 110 feet tall. This is the big rectangular building you can see across the valley. Here, beer and wine are stored at the perfect temperature. The racks in this storage warehouse are 14 levels high and 70 rows deep. Remember those blue pallets we talked about earlier? Well, here's why we use those. The robotic system is gonna grab those pallets and they have to fit into a very tight space. One of the main benefits of this type of automated storage system is it alleviates overcrowding in the main warehouse, which we'll visit in a moment. It also limits product damage during movement and keeps our aisles from becoming congested. This system is capable of handling 200 pallets per hour. Product might be stored for up to 30 days before we retrieve it to restock the main warehouse. Pallets are then transferred from the automated warehouse to the main warehouse. Once they reach the main warehouse, they'll be then transferred to a bin so warehouse employees can fill orders for the retail stores. We have about 16 order pickers each day who are picking about 12,000 cases on average to ship to the stores. Each pallet makes up part of a larger order for a store. You'll notice the operators are wearing a headset. Pick one, confirm. Pick one, case. A computerized voice is telling them what location to go to and how many cases to pull for that order. Repeat location. I like level Charlie position one five. Pick one, case. The computerized voice system can be set for numerous languages and different dialects. The voice pick system collects the data and that information is projected up onto a screen that they can use to track their progress through the day. The system is set up to move the order pickers through the warehouse aisle by aisle and bin by bin in an efficient manner. One of the unique features in this warehouse is a wire guidance system. You'll notice that the aisles are spaced just wide enough to allow two forklifts to safely pass each other. Wires are embedded in the concrete, which guide the forklift straight down the aisle for safety. All of our warehouse equipment is electric. We do not have any gas-powered forklifts, and that means no fumes in the warehouse. On average, each person will load between 600 and 1,000 cases per day. Once the operator has a full pallet, they'll take it to the front, label it, and then shrink wrap it and they're gonna shrink wrap it really tightly because it has a long ways to go to get to that store. On an average day, we ship out about 12,000 cases to the stores. 
However, the day after Christmas, we're going to ship out closer to 22,000 cases. Once the pallets are on the truck, this load is ready to deliver to the stores, and our job is done. Well, at least for another day. We'll be back tomorrow at 5.30 a.m. to do this all over again. It's all yours, Fred. Take it away. Five a.m. to 10.30 p.m., five days a week, 45 workers on two shifts handle six million cases per year. They serve 47 Utah State liquor stores, approaching half a billion dollars in sales this year.